Hello YouTube and everyone living up on Cloud9. I go by the name of Cloud White and as always this here is Feather and today we're going to talk about investing in art by glass artist Deborah Teresco. If Feather will let me. Okay so for those of you that don't know Blown Away was a reality competition series on Netflix that basically follows these glass blowing artists through a series of you know different challenges to blow various pieces of glass art um and deborah was on the show spoiler alert here it comes she wins the show the reason i'm telling you is you should watch the show not necessarily you know knowing who the winner is you should watch it because you already know who the winner is now she is absolutely worth watching through every round of this show um she actually really changed like the medium of glass as like an artistic medium for me and the stuff that she does is just absolutely incredible i'm gonna see if we can pull up some of her work from the show since we can't actually watch any of the clips from the show which i would love to do netflix has stopped us in our tracks so let's see here in episode two i believe she, she i don't know if she wins the episode or not but she makes this like venetian taco holder which is just like the like the funniest most beautiful most useful thing i've ever seen <laughs> maybe made out of glass so i always loved that piece like when i saw her do that i was like oh my god this lady's for me um then i think there was actually an image where you can see what it would look like with a taco in it as well which is kind of helpful but you know imagine your taco just hanging out in there i don't know about you but whenever i make tacos and I try to put them on the plate, they just, you know, the ingredients go everywhere. I have recently tried a trick where you use a fork to kind of pin two tacos together to stand up, but I'm telling you, if you got the money, this is the way to do it. Venetian taco holder. Another piece that I just absolutely loved was this. I don't know if, I'm gonna give you a second to think, see if you can make out what it is, but they're basically potatoes, old potatoes with like the little white things growing off of it. And I don't remember what competition it was for. Once again, just watch the series because it's worth it. She she does something absolutely stunning in every single video. Um, you know, and I think maybe it was like they were making like food or something. I don't remember what it was, but to think just potatoes and to make them come out just with the, these beautiful earth tones in the glass. Um, you know, once again, just stunning. Like really like genius out there kind of shit. Like I need this on my table. <laughs> so I can just look at it for a couple hours. Here's an image. Um, here's the potatoes in their natural habitat. So you can get a little better feel. I bet that's how they were put on exhibit. Yeah, it looks like there's some gravel underneath them or something. Just stunning, absolutely awesome. Then there was this episode where she had a, she made a, a foot stepping in bubble gum and it, I just thought it was so, um, you know, she could have done like a real small piece of bubble gum and it wouldn't have been as noticeable, but she did this kind of big dramatic poppy in your face, you know, bubblegum stick um, and it sticks with you. And if you go over here, you can see she's kind of turned this into a bit of a series. I think she does like just big pieces of bubblegum now. And it's like, how fun is that? It's like, they're, all, they're like almost, it, this green one right here actually looks like a wad of bubble gum that I would have like you, know, you blow a bubble and like remember you would stick it on your thumb and you'd have like a bubble of gum I don't know if anyone else did that I totally did that so that just you know it's simplicity and beauty and form and color all in one um, just really pretty this was another one that she did I believe the egg vase and she, it's still very popular she does a lot of see these there's a lot of egg examples here on the right hand side but once again, just fun, you know? This is just a beautiful image. These potato vases next to the egg vase and these eggs on the on the table here. So anyway, needless to say, I'm a fan of the woman's work. Go watch the show, Blown Away, Netflix. But that said, the reason we're gathering today is I liked her, as soon, I, I binged the show in like, I don't know, whatever it was, eight hours, one day. And as soon as it was done, I was like, I want something made by this woman. So I went on eBay and I found something. I'm gonna go grab the piece that I got and we're gonna talk about it. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if someone just etched her name in the bottom of the glass. If she watches this video, I'd love for her to tell me if it's real, that'd be great. But the clues are adding up on it to possibly be real. So I'm gonna go grab it, we'll look at it, we'll, we'll chat. 
so here it is sort of this awkwardly bent vase um, let you see inside there I'm not exactly sure what kind of bouquet of flowers you could put in there um, or how it would work but maybe this is kind of sitting down maybe you could put like one flower in there and then be a little dramatic but here it is just a plain clear glass uh, I'll show you where the signature is and then I'll pull up an image of it as well. So there you can see it says Deborah Ceresco NYC 1989. Um, and if we pull up her website actually, it, uh, it was something I noticed last night when I was researching this. And it was right here. It said, be began working with glass in 1987. So if that is accurate, and this is true, this piece was made about two years into her starting to blow glass. Um, you know, I don't think it's as like flashy as any of the newer pieces that I've seen, which we're gonna take a look at, but I like it. And I wanna bring up the eBay post real quick to show you how much I paid. Let's see if you guys think I paid too much. Here's the piece. I purchased it on September 2nd, 2019, and it was titled Vintage Signed Je Deborah Cheresco Hand Blown Wavy Art Glass Vase 1989. Purchased for $89.99, um, which I think is, uh, you know, an okay price. Or at least that's what I thought and what I'm hoping it, it is because if we go here and we look at what she's charging for some of her newer pieces, which I'm very jealous of and they're I think they're much I would definitely trade this one maybe for one of these I don't know maybe but this is going for $500 this egg on the table is going for 175 like I think the cheapest thing she was making was like 20 bucks or something and it was like a pad of butter <laughs> let me show you that really quick where is it I just I found this website last night as well it was uh, new to me so it's called urban glass and she had like breadsticks on here for $20 a piece. Here's a butter pat. <laughs> I want some butter pats for my table. Egg, egg vase. The egg vase going for $1,250. Uh, the goth egg sold out $250. These meat sticks, they start at 20 for the little one. I thought that was kind of cute. And I like the poached egg vase here too. I don't know, I, I don't know why I think her stuff is so fun, but it is. It's really a lot of fun. So anyway, you know, at $89.99 for a vintage piece of uh, Deborah blown glass, and just, she just brought so much joy to me, you know, watching the show. And like I said, really kind of changed uh, the medium of glass for me. Um, it's uh, kind of like an honor to have a piece by her. I think, you know, hopefully one day I'll be, I'll be able to get some, get some more of these. I actually really think it'd be fun to have uh, like a light fixture blown by her. For those of you that don't know, and this is going to be part of the channel coming up, I'm going to start uh, constructing a tiny house. So I'm going to be living in a tiny house, just living a very li minimal lifestyle, probably about 350 square feet. And, um, you know, how fun would it be to have like... Uh, some of her hanging sausages, let's see here really quick. Some of her hanging sausages turned into like a, uh, a, la um, a chandelier or something. Like check these out, sausages blown out of glass. So I'd like a sausage metal chandelier light. That'd be, I don't know. I just, uh, like I said, I can't really explain it. I just really like her work. This is like the biggest hype video she's gonna have on YouTube. Uh, It'd be funny if she watches it. And I, I got really nothing else to say. I'm proud of my investment, $89.99. We'll see if it appreciates. We'll see, it'll be crazy if someone like writes, uh, someone make me some offers and they comment. I'm not really looking to sell it, but how much are you willing to pay for it yourself? Until next time, uh, please like this video. Please subscribe if you had not. We're gonna be doing some other crazy videos, talking about some other crazy shit on another crazy time. And until then, I'm Cloud White. This is Feather, and we're out of here. So I was upstairs doing my editing and I realized I made a terrible, terrible mistake. I gotta switch it up on you. I gotta switch it up on you for my favorite Deborah conceptual chandelier piece. Gotta go with the bubble gum. I don't know what I was thinking because the bubble gum, I want everything to have 
meaning in this tiny house, right? And the bubblegum to me reminds me of that moment in childhood. I like the colors, I like the texture. That's it, that's the Dream Deborah piece. You take a bunch of the bubblegum pieces and you goop them, gop them together and you make a light fixture out of it. I can't tell if these, act, I think these just have light shining on them, yeah. But yeah, imagine a big goopity, goppity, stickity, stumpity, clumpity, bubblegum waddy light chandelier. That's the dream piece. That's the American dream. America! Deborah, do it for America. Make the bubblegum chandelier. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And thank you, Deborah. Thanks for all of your beautiful work. Absolutely love it. Can't wait to see what you come up with next.